Barbara, that's right. The district is dealing with quite a number of challenges right now, including district-wide staffing shortages, trying to make sure that all the kids that might have fallen behind last year while they were virtual are up to date now, and of course, the increase in COVID cases. I spoke with Superintendent Dr. Aaron Spence about what he sees as the biggest challenges just a week into the school year. I mean, the biggest challenge is keeping schools open and monitoring impact on, on our schools. About a week into the academic year, Virginia Beach is seeing COVID cases across dozens of schools. Superintendent Aaron Spence confirming the district has reported 121 cases since September 1st. I also think it's very important that there's context there because if you say, you know, 120 cases, you have to remember we have 65,000 students back in our building. Students like nine-year-old Connor and seven-year-old Kaylee. While their mother, Tanya, is happy there in the classroom with masks, she has concerns. I feel like the contact tracing is definitely inadequate for the size school system that we have. I feel like already with four days into the school year, five days into the school year, that they're already overwhelmed. I don't, I don't believe, you know, that they can keep up with the number of cases. Because exposure to COVID infections often means quarantine. We asked Dr. Spence what practices are in place if a student does need to quarantine. For students who individually have to quarantine um, and their home, we're providing asynchronous instruction. So we're providing like online instruction, but not with the teacher full time. In particular, at the secondary level right now, we have what's called FEV tutor which is an online tutoring program. There are also plans if a teacher has to quarantine. Well, if a teacher has to go home but is asymptomatic and is able to work, uh, that teacher can teach from home just as they did during the, during the closures. I am very dissatisfied. Mom to a senior, Annie Palumbo, disagrees with the district's COVID protocols. I knew it would be like this. In fact, we're all waiting for them to shut it down because we just know that the minute there's a few cases, they're going to shut it down. Honestly, I would embrace that because at least our kids aren't in masks. While they do still have to wear them, Spence says. Our job, our mission, our goal every day is to teach children and to do that at a high level and create meaningful learning experiences. To better get to get a better gauge for how many teachers are vaccinated, they say that this is going to help them plan ahead in case there are potential outbreaks or exposures in schools. The district is going to be sending out an anonymous, totally voluntary survey in the coming days. Teachers are going to be able to fill that out if they feel so inclined. As for right now, there is no mandate on vaccines, but Dr. Spence is hearing that there are some indications coming down from higher ups that there could be possibilities from uh, direction from the federal government to change that. So we're just going to have to wait and see there. But for now, we're live in Virginia Beach. Aaron Miller, News 3.